I knew of Boo when he was in the Eric Hamilton band. And I went to watch him, and I remember, I didn't know Boo at the time, but I'm like, I really like this drummer. Boo had a place called the Nashville Percussion Institute, which is drum school. When I went there to meet him, that's when I saw the drumometer. Well, I think I was one of the first to see the prototype. The box was like this big at the time. I've heard the story where he actually got the idea. You know, he was witnessing a verbal exchange between Buddy Rich, who was regarded as the world's fastest drummer. And then you had Barrett Deems, who was doing a drum clinic. And he said something like, hi, folks, I'm the world's fastest drummer. And then Buddy Rich is like, well, what machine do you use? And then that's when Boo just sort of realized, oh, you know, it's amazing that he sort of went through the whole process of building something. The next three months, me and Boo were in, a, in his school after hours, trying and trying, like the Rocky thing. The goal was to beat 1,000. And we did, and it did some great things for me. Johnny pounded an astonishing 1,071 beats per minute. The press with the VH1, Rock and Roll Record Breakers, MTV. I present you with this award by Guinness World Records as the fastest drummer in the world. Thank you very much. Ah, fingers, come on. Well, I kind of backed off and watched other people just like wail it, which is awesome. Oh my God, come on. And then I made the mistake of thinking I could catch back up to him. And uh, I haven't yet, <laughs> and that's cool. My dad found out about the dramometer, and within two days, I broke a thousand. And that's a very elite club. <laughs> 